Hi everyone. Hey, it's Monday. Day eight of 30 days of inspiration. So I'm going to give everybody a few minutes to get on here. I just got through working out. I'm at the gym and I'm kind of shaking a little bit because I worked my legs out so much today. And so you guys know that when you work your legs out, you can shake a little bit. And that's what's happening with me. I'm just shaking a little bit, but it'll be fine. I love to meet with you guys in my car because I don't have any interruptions. So, hey, Brianna, thank you for watching and joining us. So, as you know, um, the Bible says that we should encourage each other in the book of Acts, that they encouraged the church, encouraged each other on a daily basis. So that's why I'm coming to you for 30 days of inspiration to encourage you and to give you um, a word from the Bible that I really feel like God inspired me with this morning and it really touched me um, because of what I was writing in my journal and my prayer closet this morning and some things I was asking the Lord and he just was showing me some things. So um, before we get started on that, I want to say thank you for letting me come into your home or your car or wherever you're listening to this Facebook Live. Thank you for letting me come in. And if you will, just say hey to me so I'll know who's on here and who's watching. And take a few minutes and let's share the, um, the Facebook so we can reach out to more people. So I'm just going to give everybody a few more minutes to get on. I'm not driving. Just want you guys to know that. I am sitting in the parking lot of the Y, the YMCA. So just want you guys to know. Say hey to me. Let me know where you're watching from, and if this is a replay, um, just when it's all done and you're watching it afterwards, that's great. I'd like to know who is doing the replay. So, um, I'm just going to take a few minutes. I'm not going to be very long, but I wanted to bring a word of encouragement to you, and I hope it inspires you as much as it has inspired me. Um, when I was praying this morning, um, I heard the Lord just speak gently inside of my spirit and he was saying that people are walking around and they're disappointed and the enemy has been telling them that God has disappointed them because um, their prayers have not been answered and they've been believing God they've been asking God and and praying and fasting and they don't understand the season that they're in. And so now they're disappointed because it looks like hope is gone. And, or maybe you're just tired of trying to believe God for something that you don't see any results at all. And so what the enemy wants to do is to make you think that God is not interested in your issue or interested in your prayer request or interested in your life um, or interested in the things that is bringing pain to your heart right now and he wants you to be disappointed in God and so now I just felt like that it was um, especially this this we're coming to the end of the year Oh, hey, Robbie, I see that. You're exactly right. It's, it's so crazy how that is happening. And um, we're coming to the end of the year and more people are coming out and they're just so upset. They're angry. They're almost losing their faith because they're disappointed in God. That God, you didn't come through for me. You failed me. And um, you didn't answer my prayer or you didn't give me what I thought you were going to do. Maybe you thought that God was going to heal your body, but you're having to go through treatments or you thought someone was going to be healed of cancer and they're still having to go through chemo or you, you thought that God was going to heal your marriage, but the marriage fell apart. You thought that God was going to do all of these things, but the, the way that you had been praying and the things that you had been asking God for, you're not seeing it yet. So that's where the word comes in that number one, I want you to know that that goes against the very character of God. God's character is love. It's who he is. He can't be anything else but that. 
and he loves you so much and his his heart is bent toward you if you're watching right now i want you to know that god's heart is bent toward you he is for you and if he has not answered your prayer right now i guarantee you there is a reason behind it god always has a reason and god knows what he is doing and I went to the Lord this morning because I was upset about some things, nothing in my life, but just some things I've been praying for other people that I didn't see it happen. And, and you know, my friend, I had a friend that, that died a few weeks ago and we had been praying for her healing. She was my age. And it was just, it's been really hard, you know, and I've been asking God and I heard the enemy telling me I should be disappointed with God, that God didn't answer my prayer, you know? And um, I heard the Lord just whisper gently in my spirit. And he said to me, Janet, I know what I'm doing. And there is a scripture that says that if you confess your sins or confess whatever, the secret things, you will be healed of those. And the Lord was telling me that some people carry, I'm going to get right here in front of the sun, some people carry secrets to the grave and they never confess the pain or the they never confess things that happened or what what is really hurting them. They won't even go to God and confess it. You know, they they won't come to Him and say, "Hey, like this morning, I just went to the Lord and I said, God, I'm I'm disappointed, and I know that You don't disappoint, and I know that this is the enemy." So I want to come and lay this down at your feet and I need you to speak to me and I need you to um, direct my heart and direct my emotions and direct my mind, you know. And, and so the Lord says, the first thing he says is this, if you will come to me, my, my children, I love you with an everlasting love. I want to heal you, but there's some things that I need you to do. I meet you where you are, not where you pretend to be. And you're pretending so much that you have done talked yourself in to the person that you're pretending to be when deep down inside there are things that I want to heal and if you won't confess that you need that then you can't expect that healing to be on this side of eternity on this uh, not eternity on this side of our life but on the other side of eternity when we go home to be with the Lord, that sometimes that's when our healing comes, is when we cross over to be with Him, right? So this is a scripture that the Lord gave me, and this is what I wanna leave you with to encourage you. Number one, if you feel like the enemy is whispering those things to you, and you're disappointed, and you're disappointed in God, and God didn't hear your prayer, and that God's not interested in what you're going through or your church or what's happening in your family. I want you to know that is not the voice of God. That is the voice of the enemy. And he wants to turn you against God to keep you from praying and to believe for a miracle. But every time that you um, come into God's presence, he wants it to be real, genuine, and sincere that you're coming with him with an open heart that he can speak to you and pour himself into you so that you can experience his presence and his healing power. So I'm going to read the scripture to you and I hope it really ministers to you like it did to me. It's Romans 5 and 5, but I'm going to read a little before that. It says, therefore, since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God and somebody needs to make peace with God. I don't know who this is for, but you need to make peace with God um, because, and this is the reason why, what Jesus Christ, our Lord has done for us. You make peace with God because of what Jesus has done for us. Because of our faith, Christ has brought us into this place of undeserved privilege 
that means favor, where we now stand and we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. We can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials. When's the last time you uh, rejoice over your problems and trials? When you make peace with God and you stop blaming God and stop um, being disappointed in God. And I'm gonna tell you, we all walk through this. It's not just me or, you know, just someone else. We all will walk through times in our life where we will ask God questions. But the word says right here that we have been, we are in right standing with God now because of what Jesus did. And because of that, we have favor. We have undeserved privilege where we can come into God's presence. And he says, then at this point, verse three, we can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials for we know that they help develop endurance and endurance develops strength of character and character strengthens our confident hope of salvation. And this hope will not lead to disappointment. Why? Because we know how dearly, how much God loves us. Because he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with his love. When we were utterly helpless, Christ came at just the right time and died for us sinners. Now, I want to share this word with you and this word of encouragement, the sun's setting right there, um, that God is going to show up for you at just the right time. You've been asking God for a certain thing, for God to move or for God to um, answer your prayers, whatever you've been, your petitions are, whatever you've been believing God for. Maybe it's a healing, maybe it's for your marriage, maybe it's for your heart or your job. I want you to know that these trials have come and it's going to develop things inside of you that God wants to develop. And the hope that he gives us through Christ Jesus will never disappoint. So you hope for the things that you can't see, right? You don't hope for the things that you have. You hope for what you can't see. And that's where we find encouragement. We find it when we lean into his presence and trust him and know that we are standing in a place of privilege because of what Christ Jesus did for us. So I want to encourage you and let you know that God knows where you're standing and God is developing character inside of you and you you may be upset that he hasn't answered your prayer just right now but i'm telling you god sees you he hears you he is a god he is going to respond to you and when you feel like the enemy is speaking these lies to you and saying that you should be disappointed in God and God's not interested. I want you to take that thought into captivity. And I want you to say, you know what, devil, I recognize your voice and I'm not going to believe you. I mean, that's what I did this morning because I know the voice of God and I know the voice of the enemy. You know, God is all powerful. I, the word says his sheep know his voice and God is always pouring something powerful into our lives and the enemy always wants to take something from us so that's how you can know when the enemy is speaking to you it feels like it's sucking something out of you and it's like sucking the life out of you you know but God when we go through trials he is not sucking the life out of us he is shaping and molding us to the person that he wants us to become and he is saying if you hang on and you hope because hope will not disappoint. You have got to hang on to um, the promises of God are yes and amen. And he says, if you persevere and you don't give up, you will see what you've been praying for. I was talking to someone today that this mother had been praying for her daughter. And 20 years later of intercession, Somebody say 20 years. I mean, how many people would hang on that long believing God for one thing? You know, God saved my daughter, saved my son. For 20 years, she prayed for her daughter. And the promises of God 
over her life was you have the you have a call upon your life at 13 years old it was prophesied over her that she would do great and mighty things and then all of a sudden at 14 some things happened she went astray and she lived a life a crazy life until she was 34 20 years later god answered this mama's prayer so meanwhile god has a plan i want you to trust the lord with what he is doing in the middle of this election in the middle of this pandemic in the middle of the chaos and the confusion i want you to, to lean away from that and lean into the lord and lean upon the word and trust him because hope will never ever disappoint you jesus will not disappoint you he is going to come through for you I just want you to keep believing him. So whatever you are asking God for and whatever you're believing God for, I want you to, when you go before him, just keep writing it down, keep persevering, keep pushing and keep believing and keep hoping because you hope for the things that you cannot see. You know, you hope for what you can't see. And the Bible says that we, sh we should speak those things that are not as though they were. So instead of agreeing with my trial and agreeing with my situation and taking that up to God and say, you know, God, this is happening to me. Why don't you disagree with what that is according to what the Bible says? I have such a girly Bible. You see it? Agree with the word. Agree with what God's word says about you. And I want to encourage you, dive into Romans 5, read that, and um, let that minister to you. Um, so, that's our word of encouragement on day 8 for 30 Days of Inspiration. I hope that it is ministered to you today. And, hey Robbie, I'm reading yours now. Romans 5, amen, exactly what we spoke Sunday. This is what God is speaking to our church. Hope is the harvest of perseverance and hope is the expectation of God's children. Amen. <laughs> Ooh, I believe that. It is our expectation and we got to hang on. Keep believing God for what he said he was going to do. You know, um, the doctors told me I would never be able to have children, but I kept believing God and by faith, I went out and bought some baby booties and you know, five years of trying I finally got pregnant and you know you just got to you can't give up you got to keep persevering you got to keep praying keep praying keep fasting do not give up if God said it then you got to believe it and whatever his word says about you it's true and whatever God says you can have then you can have it and I want to encourage you today I hope that you have been inspired I'm always inspired when I see your name pop up and see that you have joined me because um, you could be doing anything right now but you decided to join me on this facebook live and um, i'm so grateful for that so i just got through with the gym i'm about to go to the grocery store now and buy some chicken <laughs> so i can cook tonight so uh, thank you guys i will see you tomorrow night don't forget to leave me some comments let me know where you're listening from and share this um if you if this is ministered to you just share it with some of your friends okay all right love you guys bye